dear students today we are going to discuss about activity diagram for online shopping system in the previous video we discussed about activity diagram for login page it's a start from that basic introduction about activity diagram and what's the objective of that activity model and i clearly explained in what way we have to use the activity diagram for a login page right today we are going to discuss about the complete informations it's involved in the online shopping system so first we have to start the initial notation so that's the initial uh, the notation which is available in the activities just you can use the initial notation to start the process so as a initial notation it's a start from the customer and customer it's going to place the order and the third level once the order is placed we have to verify that order and here i use the decision and we have to check the order placed order is valid request or invalid request if it is valid request we can process the order if it is invalid request so what it mean if sometimes the product is not available if the product is not supposed to deliver to that particular address or it can be as some reason the request may be as invalid right so this is the uh, the state it defines the invalid uh, request here i used uh, two different the activity we can perform in the invalid request so the first one if it is invalid request by a mistake it's a uh, done by the customer side even you can do that process and verify the order you can repeat that the same process once again right and even if you are not supposed to repeat the process this is the line it represent that we are going to verify that the same process and you are going to place the order if not directly we can cancel the order and goes to that the final state right so this is the final state it defines that directly it goes to that the end of our activity now coming to that if it is valid request so once the order is placed and go to the payment model so if it is payment i am using so what's the notation i mentioned here we are having only uh, that is uh, one input and multiple that output statement i mentioned right so it's a one input and multiple the activities we can perform with the help of fork right so i used a fork notations to create the payment model as a payment model it can be as either internet banking mobile banking wallet payment credit card or debit card it's any one of the payment model we can perform for our transaction process and so just you look at this uh, the states we have multiple outputs and going to perform only one action in the next level here i used join notation for to connect all the different payment models and either internet banking or mobile banking whatever the payment model we are chosen so the final outcome we are going to pay that amount right so to accept the payment and after that we can generate the invoice and verify the shipping address this are the process which is involved here if you need maybe i'll be is when you do that the transaction process we cannot supposed to guarantee that all the transaction it will be successful sometimes the transaction may be failed due to either network problem or insufficient balance or the server uh, end uh, we can get uh, some kind of error you know so you can add one more uh, that activities uh, for the failed transaction and that activity we can connect with the payment so just i am not uh, use that failed transaction as a students 
you can use the failed transaction as the one more activity that activity which we have to connect with the payment model so it means that we are repeating the process so if it is valid payment you can move on to the next level if it is invalid payment that payment we have to repeat from the payment process and you are doing that the same activities in the next level right coming to that uh, the successful payment or valid payment so as i said it's uh, to generate the invoice and that invoice copy it sent to that along with the product right so whenever we are uh, deliver the product along that product the invoice copy is also we have to send right so here before that that's a one process and before that delivery we have to check that uh, the shipping address right so to verify the shipping address if it is valid so how can they going to verify that shipping address with the help of pin code number right so if it is valid pin it sent to the delivery if it is invalid pin number right so invalid pin again we have to repeat the process to verify that uh, the shipping address and you are doing that same process so this is also one part of decision statement either if it is valid or invalid if it is invalid we have to verify the shipping address once again and you have to repeat the process if it is valid directly come to that the delivery stage and along with invoice copy it move on to that uh, that is the final state right so this is the simplest way you can create that diagram for online shopping system so just we are placing the order verify the order if it is valid or invalid request we have to check it and you have to concentrate on the play that is a payment model if it is valid payment you have to generate the invoice copy and check the uh, shipping address so to verify the shipping address if it is valid pin code or invalid pin code so if it is valid pin code we can send that the information into the delivery stage along with invoice copy right so this is the way you can create activity diagram for online shopping system so what kind of activity which we have to perform for to place the order in online mode for any kind of product right so all the activities we have to represent in that form of a diagrammatical way and if any of the activity or any of the action you missed definitely it will be reflected in the implementation stage so each and every actions and activity what kind of notations you are using everything you have to take care of in your mind and draw the diagram so if for example here just i missed this a uh, line as a invalid request directly go to the cancel statement or cancel the order right here it's uh, if any of the mistakes it's uh, done by the customer end he is wrongly chosen some product or uh, wrongly did some uh, that is uh, invalid process we have to always give that option to verify the order once again and repeat the process if not that line which is if not present means we cannot uh, say that uh, that entire process is correct in that initial stage itself right so this is the way you have to create the diagram and i hope uh, this uh, the visual representation helpful to you all still if you have any queries you can post it in that comment window thank you thanks for watching